Okay, here's the project. Replace these bathroom sinks. These sinks came on this bathroom vanity and they are about five years old and they have basically corroded. This is brass and as you can see right here it is corroded away <coughs> to the point where you can actually take this up. Now this brass is basically like a veneer because inside it appears that this is aluminum and look at all the nastiness. Isn't that horrible? Anyway, we're replacing those today. Now, here's the thing. This is uh, granite. So, what this project is going to do is just show you a homeowner replacing his sinks. We'll also replace the faucets with new ones also. Make this really nice. Um, so, the very first step is getting all your items out of your sink. Uh, the next step is to <coughs> unhook your faucet and your drain from underneath. Then, what we want to do is take the uh, granite countertop off and I want to take it outside in order to do this installation. Why? Because anytime that you cut granite you're going to have an extremely amount of dust and I don't want that in the house. So that's step one. Okay, be sure and cut your water off by turning your water control nozzles clockwise until they stop. Then you want to unhook the drainage which is this right here. Simply loosen this and this will slide down. And to unhook your faucets what you have to do is undo the bolt that attaches to the faucet. Be sure and place a pan under your drain before removing it because this will have water in it. Oh and these are clockwise to unscrew. I'm sorry, counterclockwise to unscrew. Okay, once you get these nuts off of the back side of your faucet, your faucet should come out. Okay, and now I have both faucets out. Okay, the next step is to get the sink off of the granite and it looks like this one is fastened with some type of silicon type sealer so I'm just going to use my chisel and uh, try to just work work this out you can see the silicon comes up quite easy I'm going to try to work myself around just getting that out and then hopefully pop this out just going to work on that okay what I've done is exactly what I just told you. I've taken this little, this is actually a wood chisel, and I've tapped it. <coughs> I use a wooden mallet just to go around the perimeter, tapping on the edges at this angle like this. And now I'm going to try to pop it out of there. I've got it a little bit loose. It's pretty good glue they put on these things. I can hear it coming out. Just hope I don't break my countertop, but yeah, we got it now. Okay. Yuck! That's one nasty bowl. Okay, we have both sinks out, we have both faucets out. 
the next step is to remove the granite top from the base. And I'm looking here, and if you see, the granite is sitting on top of a piece of wood about a uh, half inch thick. So I don't see any other connections underneath. So most likely this is glued to the top. So that's what I'm going to try to do next. Okay. I have got the countertop broke loose at the front and basically this thing was glued around the periphery around the periphery to hold the um, faucet inserts as well as the front and back so what I'm doing now is just simply lifting it up however it's slow going and I wish I had somebody else here to hold this camera but I'm about to pull this thing up so I'm going to have to put the camera down and then we will go from there. Let's go about these screwdrivers one here and one here and I'm just using those to help pry it up. Yeah, we got it now. That's the screwdrivers falling, by the way. <laughs> ah, this stuff's quite heavy. Okay, so I've got the countertop loose. Now I'm going to take it out to the workshop. Okay, I had filmed how I cut out this granite using my angle grinder and this bit right here. This is the only bit that I use. This is a skill saw, four and a half inch diamond bit and um, it works awesome I was really surprised how fast it cuts this stuff basically what I did was mark the outline on my pattern uh, of my pattern on to the mark the um, <clears throat> granite okay once I had my line I then put this in my angle grinder and then I cut like this at a slight angle I'm not totally vertical like this I cut it at a slight angle and also I stayed back approximately 3 h to half of an inch from my mark line okay if that makes sense <coughs> and so on the on the area where the oval is pretty sharp at this angle right here um, what I did was I went back probably about a half of an inch and plunged through well first of all I scored it around like this and I made about two passes just simply scoring it and each score would go about a quarter of an inch deep and then um, I would go on my third pass I would go deeper and then once I finally plunged through on my fourth pass uh, the piece would come out now I did I did uh, run water just a slow trickle of water where I was cutting this that keeps the blade cool and also makes for smoother cutting and uh, cooler cutting now <clears throat> the way that I got the cut perfectly vertical was after I did the cutout of this piece right here I then used the, the edge of the grinder to go inside like this and just simply drag the, the, the grinder of course it's on the grinder and spinning but you, you basically just kind of sand the edge down and um, you'll get good results uh, especially good enough for a drop-in sink so you can see just how detailed you can cut with this thing um, you can see that so basically all you need is an angle grinder which is this thing right here um, I, I have a four and a half inch angle grinder these turn at a super high RPM I think around 10 to 12,000 RPM. 
and you need this bit. This is a, this one just happened to be a skill saw bit. It was the cheapest one I could find. It was a uh, I think eight bucks, and it works like a dream. So I don't even recommend getting the high, the more expensive uh, diamond wheels when this one worked really good for me. So. I do recommend you take this outside to do it because you're, it's a messy process. Uh, there will be water and mud everywhere and uh, you'll need to wear a rain suit because you'll get it all over you. But it does cut out well and surprisingly easy. Okay. What we're going to do now is put our top back on our vanity here. And I'm just going to put some of this at the periphery. Okay, this is the product that I use to secure the sink to the granite. It's called Quick Seal Plus uh, Premium Kitchen and Bath Adhesive Sealant. Okay, this is the faucet that we've decided to use now that we have our sinks adhesived in. Um, they look really nice. Everything's turned out really good so far. Um, okay, to install the drain you have to do some disassembly first. You want to take this off, take the stopper out, screw this little bolt here all the way down and press this gasket all the way down. Before you install your drain, be sure and put a very good silicon on this seal right here. This is the piece that goes right here. So be sure and use silicon. I use a Loctite clear silicon. And the silicon goes around this part right here. There are two ways to install this stopper. You can install it so that you can remove this from the bottom um, or you can have it non-removable. If you install the stopper so that your rod hits like this, it's removable. But if you install it so that it's like this, it will be non-removable. We choose to have the removable stopper so what I'm going to do is install the rod and the stopper in this manner. Okay, with the drain removable, as I lift it up, we can take it out. And that completes the installation of our new bathroom sinks. We um, bought some new faucets to go along with it, and these are really nice. Have some really nice Kohler. Uh, sinks and these are peerless faucets. Um, I was surprised how easy it was to cut the granite. One thing I learned is there's no way I would do that in my house. So if there's any way possible take your granite off and take it outside to cut it. And you can cut it with just a simple eight dollar diamond grinding wheel uh, that you get at your local hardware store. You do need to use water when you're cutting this granite just to keep the dust down. It makes cutting faster and smoother.